Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. And I'm Pavana Sampaknam. Close your eyes and watch the breath and stick with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Show some dedication. Show some determination that you're really going to do this well. It's the desire to do something well that the Buddha said is wise. We're not just here reading books and saying, yes, we agree with what the Buddha said, or we don't agree with what the Buddha said. We see that what he said about being responsible for our own actions is true. That nobody else can make decisions for us as to what we're going to do, how they will force decisions on us, but we're the ones who finally decide whether we're going to go along or not. And if we don't want to do something skillfully, then we're going to suffer the consequences. So it's wise to want to be skillful. It's wise to learn how to depend on yourself, and you have to make yourself dependable. As the Buddha said, the self is its own mainstay. In other words, you have to depend on yourself. But if you're not dependable, what are you going to do? We have to develop the qualities of dependability inside. So this quality of ardency, really wanting to do something well and sticking with it, with determination. Those are wise qualities in the mind. Otherwise, what are you going to depend on? We want happiness in life. We want happiness that's dependable. That means we have to be dependable, too. We make up our mind, we realize that something is good, okay, we just keep keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. That quality of determination, the persistence with which you follow it, these are the things that will create your refuge inside as you become more and more dependable in good things. You're more secure. We look at the world around us and there's so much undependability going on right now. If we hope to depend on things outside, we're going to be disappointed. Sometimes we're lucky, sometimes we're not. It's like, it's like gambling. But you don't want to gamble with your happiness. You want your happiness to be in a safe place. You want to be, to be in a place where you are sure that it's there. And that the conditions for it are under your control. Well, as the Buddha said, the conditions really are under your control if you develop your good qualities of your mind. So, this is your safe bet, depending on yourself. Which means you don't have to pin your hopes on other people. You pin your hopes on your own ability to be reliable. But then again, watch yourself to make sure that you are reliable. This is why we develop these qualities of mindfulness, alertness, ardency in the meditation. Mindfulness is when you keep something in mind. Ardency is when you're really clear about what's going on right now, what, particularly what you're doing right now. And the two of them work together to make sure that you do it well. That's what the ardency comes in. If you've got these three qualities working together, you can create a refuge for yourself, a refuge you can depend on. And then the extent to which other people are looking for an outside refuge, well, you're there to be dependable. So you're not going to be the only one who benefits. Other people benefit as well. We need more reliable people in the world, and it's going to have to start with us.